hi guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to cover the following topics we are going to see what is docker exec and how we use it uh, and the next thing we are going to see is docker attach so what is docker attach and how is it different from docker exec so let's continue so i'm on my system right now and i have a couple of docker containers which are running so if i do docker ps so I have ran two containers. Uh, one is a Debian container, which is running bash as the main command. And then the uh, Nginx container, which we used in our last video as well. So this is running some entry point.sh file, right? Okay. So let's talk about Docker exec. So Docker exec basically lets you run more than one process inside a container. So by Docker best practices, it is, I mean, it is said that you should run one process per container and you should treat your docker containers as cattle and not pets so i mean container should be like ephemeral they should come and go they, sh they shouldn't be treated like like you the way you treat your virtual machines right so but with exec what you can do is you can run more than one process inside a container so let's see how so we are going to use our debian uh, container in this so let's do docker exec hyphen i is for interactive and hyphen t is when we are requesting a pseudo shell then we'll copy the uid of this container and then we are going to give the process or the command which we want to run so in this case i want to run another shell which is the sh shell right let's enter so you can see i'm inside the container now and i'm inside the bin sh shell so if i do ps hyphen ef you can see that the pid1 is still used by the primary process which is the bash which is running over here this is the second process which we started when we ran exec and this is the process id of the ps command which we ran inside this container so you can see that so this process along with, I mean, we have run a couple of more processes. All right. So this is what Docker exec is actually used for. If I do control D, you can see I exit out of the Docker uh, container. I came out of the container. But if I do Docker PS, the container is still running. All right. So I'm showing you this because with attach, it is a little different. All right let's see if i if there's anything else in docker exec uh, probably no so let's talk about docker attach so docker attach is basically used to attach your host system's uh, standard input standard output and standard error with that of a container so let me show you how actually and what exactly i mean so let me do docker ps and this time i'll use this nginx container so what i'm going to do is docker attach and i'll just copy the uid of this container and paste it over here and you can see i'm not returned a shell all right so if i go to another terminal and do a curl on local host so i'm returned the nginx page because that container is running nginx which is mapped to port 80 of my host and if i come back over here you can see i've got a request all right so this is what actually docker attached does it has attached me or it has attached my standard input standard output and standard error with that of a docker container or the nginx container which is running all right let me show you another example that would make it clear and in this case, what happens, you see when I exited out of the container and if now I do docker ps, you can see that the nginx container is dead. So this is one more difference between docker exec and docker attach. So when you exit out of your container, uh, you in when you, if you use docker attach, the container exits. So there's a way you can detach from your container. So I'll tell you the command to detach from your container as well instead of just killing it so let's start that nginx process uh, nginx container again or probably we don't need it i'll show you the another example using this 
our Debian container. So in this Debian container, you can see the primary command is bash, right? So if I do docker attach and I just copy this ID, paste it here, you can see I'm attached to the primary process, which is the bash shell. So I'm inside the container. So this is another way to get inside the container only for the containers which are running bash or the shell as their primary process. You cannot uh, attach, I mean, to any other, uh, basically any other container which is running something else at, as its primary process. But in this case, the container, this container is running bash as its primary process. That is why we were attached. When we did an attach, we actually got inside the container, right? So if I do a PS, if an EF, you can see so this is so you saw that there is no new process which has been spawned so we have attached to the existing bash process right and this is the ps command which we ran so this is basically the major difference between exec and attach when you run an exec exec basically spins up a new process inside the container whereas attach basically lets you attach to an existing process inside the container so that's the difference that you should keep in mind Last thing I want to show you is how to basically detach cleanly from a container without killing it. So we have a container running, a Debian container, which is primary process is a bash. So let's attach to this container, docker, attach. And now we are into the container because the primary process is the bash shell. To detach from a container cleanly without killing it, uh, what you need to do is press control first press P and then press Q and you could see that I have exited out of the container read escape sequence and now if I do docker PS you can see that my container is still running so it was not terminated when I detached from it all right so this is it for this video guys this is all I had for this video I hope you liked the video Please let me know if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I'll surely come back to you and please subscribe to the channel before leaving. So yeah, thank you for watching guys.